Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to be learning about how to convert a Turbulence FD cache file into a VDB file. Now in case you don't know, Turbulence FD by default when you cache out your simulation will cache it out in a different file format than something called VDB. Now this can be a bit of a problem because VDB is a very specific file format that's natively supported by a ton of different programs including Octane Render to natively import in that file. This is also beneficial because Octane Render does not have to have Turbulence FD installed to load in VDB files. This means that if you want to share your cool simulation, like say this cloud here, I did not simulate this myself, this is a free cloud file that I downloaded, a VDB cloud file that I downloaded from um, Pixar's um, Moana. They gave away a bunch of these, so it's really cool. Now this is a perfect example, is VDB is the golden standard for a lot of programs, including Hundini, um, Maya, 3ds Max, um, and Octane Render, of course, bringing that in, and just a ton of different applications. So I'm pretty sure you're aware at this point that it's important to have a VDB file. So, how do we get this converted? The first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and first navigate the basically system on your hard drive that you have Turbulence FD installed onto. For example, for me, I have mine installed on the local C drive here. So if I double click this, go to Program Files, then I want to go to Maxon, then Cinema 4D R18, then go to Plugins. In here, this is the location where I have Turbulence FD installed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up, and then I'm going to select BCF to VDB. Now this is very interesting. Turbulence FD actually comes with its own converter algorithm to do this. So all I have to do is open this up, and then I need to launch this BCF to VDB exe file right here. Now you can tell it's an exe file by right-clicking it, going to Properties, and then you can see it's um, a .exe file right there. Now there's a problem. If I were to double-click this, it will launch and then close itself. This is because I can no longer launch the BF2VDB file this way. I have to do it another way. The way to currently get Turbulence FD to launch its um, VDB converter is you must first open up your command prompts to search command and then there it is command prompt. Now this is go we're going to be doing a little bit of very very light coding. Now don't be scared. This is going to be super simple and very easy and all you have to do is type in what I type and we'll go through this step by step. It's a very simple process. The first thing I need to do is tell our command prompt to launch this file. To do this I simply grab this file drag it in here, release, and it will automatically type in the launch directory. I click onto my command prompt to make sure it's selected, and then I press enter. After a little bit, it will, or may I have to press enter again? There we go, I had to press enter twice. I had to press enter to get it to engage. And then one more time. But now that the program file has launched, you can see usage, um, blah, 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 file directory available options. This lets us know that it has actually launched it and it is working. Now we need to tell it to convert some of our cache files. The first thing we're going to need to do is navigate to some of these cache files. For me, I keep them on my cache drive, cache drive D. Now make sure you navigate to the location where you cached out your Turbulence FD simulation. For me, it's under my cache drive D, underneath Turbulence FD, and then here's two caches I have. I have cache 001. This is my low res cache, and if I go back, this is my high res cache. This is the up res of that original cache, and that is the one I want. Now in this file you can see this is a whole bunch of BCF files. This is the type of format that Turbulence FD caches out into. We want to convert these files, all 60 of them, into a VDB file. To do this I'm going to go back up one level. I'm going to select this folder, right? This is the folder with my cache. And this is what I want to tell Turbulence FD to convert, um, to basically take this and then convert this into a VDB. To do this, I have to re-grab that Turbulence FD file, basically that, or that Turbulence FD BCF to VDB converter location. And to do this, instead of re-going back and dragging it in, all I can do is do a shortcut, basically, where I select my command prompt and press the arrow up key on my keyboard, and this will automatically pre-type in the last thing we already pasted in, basically. Now that I have this, I'm going to press space once. I just did one space and then drag in this cache file's location. This is the high-res one I want, so I'm just going to drag it in and release. So now, this is what I want you to convert, this file's location. 
Now we're not done. I'm going to go ahead and reselect this again, and then I'm going to press space on my keyboard one more time, and then I'm going to press minus, minus, output. Now, again, what I typed in is the minus button, minus button, and then output. The minus key on your keyboard is to the left of your plus key. So if I hold down left shift and press plus, there's the plus key. If I go back into the left of the plus key, there's our minus key. If I hold down left shift, it'll do that underscore. So that is the location for it. So make sure you type in minus, minus, output. After you type that in, press space bar one more time. And now we need to put in the location where we'd like to output at. For me, I'm just going to right click on my desktop do um, new, here it is, new folder, and I'm just going to call this test, and then press enter. I'll now take this test folder and drag this to the end of our output, and it will automatically put that on the end force there. Now if I click here on the end, click right in there, make sure I'm in, and then press enter, and press enter one more time, it will now start the job. What it's doing is it's saying, okay, output, it's outputting to my desktop test folder. It's parallel jobs, it's doing eight jobs at a time right now, which is pretty cool, so it's doing them quicker. And currently it's baking out my density, temperature, full, burn, and sol solid velocity data into these VDB files. So if I go ahead and open up this test folder, you can see we're currently on 26 out of 60. Now this number is not always going to line up because these 26 and different files here are actually still being worked on, but this is not going to be done. This job's not going to be finished until this 25 ends up going up all the way to 60. So let's just go ahead and wait for this job to be finished. Here we go. I did a quick little edit. Now that the job has done, it'll, see, it'll say 60 out of 60, basically, or how many VDB volumes you're rendering. So it should be the full final number should be duplicate itself, itself here, and it'll pop up your command prompt option again. So this will let you know that it's completed. So just make sure that the last number here is the same as the first number, and then you'll know it's done, along with a new little command prompt here. And if we go ahead and take a look at that folder that we just did everything in, this is the test folder, you can see here is all 60 of our VDB volumes, all rendered here correctly correctly and converted for us. At this point, this video is done. We have all our conversions made, all thanks to the help of this um, BCTF to VDB converter. So everything is rendering uh, or exported out correctly. So you should be able to take these files now and you can go ahead and close your command prompt. And you should be able to take all these files and load them into whichever VDB application you would like. As you can see, we got the dot VDB at the very end there. So it is a VDB file and everything has been exported correctly. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you're interested in learning more about using this type of VDB technology in Octane Render, make sure to check out my Octane Master Course, which you can find at epicjcreations.com. Just go to epicjcreations.com and then select Octane Master Course. A link to this um, will be in the description of the video if you want to check it out. And you can learn more about my paid Octane Master Course, which will be talking so about so much more, including using VDB files in Octane Render. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found this helpful, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next tutorial.